I am Anshu Jalan and I am a Tezos developer and I've been in Tezos for the past couple of years. I was initially developing on Ethereum but then Tezos looked like really interesting so I moved here. Initially I started out as a fellow, a developer fellow at Tezos India and I started building my own project called Kickflow which was a crowdfunding platform. It's still there around on Tezos and later I moved on to a DeFi project called Plenty DeFi where I'm currently working as a smart contract and backend engineer. So when I started off, it was more like I was trying to explore other blockchains. But once I was in Tezos, the tech, well, the tech evolves. Because of the on-chain governance system, it can continuously evolve, so we are not left behind. The other chains, it, it takes time for upgrades. Besides that, the community is really awesome. Like, we have been here for the last couple of days and it's been, like, really great. First is tech, second is community. So we are here for the VR Developers World Congress where we are giving workshops and we are teaching like the basics of Tezos to developers who are already in the Web2 space. Well, people really want to know like why Tezos is different because, you know, they are like coming into the center and they are seeing these huge Tezos banners and they're like really interested in knowing like why Tezos, we have Ethereum, we have all these other blockchains. So why would one build on Tezos? So they are really interested in after we gave the workshop, some of them are interested in shifting the projects over to Tezos. So this was like a great thing. So well, initially, like I was a game developer for about two years. But then once I started exploring Web3, this was a completely different world because this was a revolution. And when a revolution begins, it's better to be with it rather than just let it happen. And right now, we all know Web3 is like what internet was back in 1995, 1996. So it's just the beginning. So I really want to be a part of it and keep building and exploring and let's see where it goes. Tezos has several smart contract languages like SmartPy and Lego and all of them have like great documentation and their teams are like really active on Slack and on Telegram. They are like, like great teams so whenever you are stuck anywhere you can just reach out to them and they're going to help you. So these two projects are like the go-to for every developer if they want to get into Tezos and start learning. So developers should actually join Tezos for one reason and that is they will have to build everything from scratch. So on Ethereum, we have like everything is already built and now we have EVM chains coming up and people are, you know, just there's this term called copy pasta and people are just lifting up code and they're putting it on other chains. But on Tezos, the design is completely different and you are actually learn something building a, a, a dApp or a smart contract completely from scratch. So it's going to be a great experience. When I started out in 2020, that time Tezos was like really young and we didn't even have proper documentation back then. And we really looked at the base code and tried to understand everything. So if I am, if someone considers to me a good developer today, then it's all because I joined Tezos. If you want to be a Web3 developer, especially for smart contracts, I would say don't just focus on tech because us engineers and developers, we, are, we think like we should just focus on the tech and leave everything aside. But if you want to be like a complete Web3 engineer, Web3 is a lot about finance. And you must also have some basic idea of finance because if you don't, then you won't be making some product that truly makes an impact in the, on the world. So initially, when I started up, I was making like applications, but they were very generic. But once I moved on to finance or then decentralized finance, that's what we call it here. It was a completely different world and it really changed how I look at development in general. Because we need to have like a base idea. The, Tech is not the idea. There is a base idea and tech solves it. So the base idea here is all about finance. So I really see Web3 completely revolutionizing finance. It's giving people the control over their money. Like just in the morning, I went to the hotel and my credit card was declined. And that was like, we, we just didn't know what's going on. But on Web3, you know, your transaction won't be declined. It's all open, it's all out there and you have complete control over your money. Maybe five years down the line, I see everyone accepting cryptocurrencies for payments and you don't have to wait, you know, for the banks to fix your credit card. You just go there, you make your payment and you're done. There are other things like identity and voting and everything else, but I believe finance would be most impacted through Web3. People are building it. It's more about adoption. So we really need to get the adoption side right. So educate people that this is better. You know, just yesterday we had the NFT QR codes, right? People were scanning it, they were getting the NFTs, they were going to the coffee shop, and then they were transferring the NFTs. And it was so seamless. In 30 seconds, you had a free coffee. But yeah, free is not the thing here, but it's about how seamless it all is. So right now I'm working at Plenty DeFi and we are making some revolutionary products on Tezos. Right now we are trying to get a product up with something called VE tokenomics and we are trying to fetch in more liquidity on Tezos. So if you join our team, you will be working with some of the most excellent apps that are gonna be coming up on Tezos. So if you really do wanna join us team, just send us an email. We are out there on Tezos, really popular. And we we'll definitely look into your resumes.